All right, this is my let's see that, and today we are looking at uh, August's loot crate. This is the second sequel loot crate. Last year, last month was the Heroes Two, and for this month we have the Villains Two. The original Villains was one of the first crates early on that I got, so this should be pretty good to find out what they have in store for us right now. So let's take a look. So compared to who, the first one's a gigantic box. Let's see. Oh, here you see the Joker making some sort of Joker bot. It's cool. You see there's three big things in here. The yellow one is some kind of bag. In a bag. And it says avoid. So that's plastic, but what's in here? I can see some details already. There's the silicon thing to keep it from smelling. Plastic rat. It's a giant apron. Los Polos Hermanos. This would be great for like barbecuing or whatever. Just gigantic yellow even. And this. This one. Which is awesome. But it says right here from Marvel is a Connard. It's Carnage from Spider Man. It's a six ounce molded mug. And let's see. So the tab here, let's cut through that real quick and see what it looks like. Good old styrofoam. Oh, it only covers about the top. Let's see. This actually looks pretty cool. Here's the other side. really cool. It doesn't look like a very accurate version of the carnage, but it looks really cool. Nice sculpting. See like muscles in the mouth. See the skull line. The eyes that sore out towards the forehead area. Really cool. See there's real wear and tear. Marvel. This is double cup. The inside is unpainted but glazed. This is really cool. So that's carnage. It seems there's not actually a lot for the seat, which is interesting. Because last month's Hero Crate had a lot of stuff. So let's look at this. Ooh, this is the... Oh, that's this part. The DC Comics Loot Crate exclusive, the Joker wooden painting figure. There's, there's... This is the alternate face. This one says hee hee. And this one says ha ha. Oh, and there's also the Batman and Superman version as well. Up the packaging. And let's see how it looks like and how you would use that alternate head. And you see, there's not. You can probably tear it out of the box right now if you wanted to. Let's be civil and open it up from here. This is where you get. Ah, so it's, it's push pin system. Okay, and this opens up, and this side opens up a little bit, oh, and then you can get the actual figure out. So that's cool. This is cool. Try not to lose them. So, arms move, hands move. They're gigantic, but that's cool. Just a little bit of swiveling here. Pants are stiff, but they move. So basically, you can just whoa, put them in here, 
and they're kind of loose so they'll fall off if you tip them. Really cool. I wish they had some kind of pin, something to put on the back so they won't fall off as easier, easily. This is really, really cool. So you can also turn the head as well. Kind of cool. Right. Put that aside. Won't fall. Here's the pin. The villains too. You can see there. I'm just dropping stuff left and right. So the last. Ooh, there's a couple more. And the inside. The Joker bot. There's this, the FX collectibles from Marvel. Ooh, from Captain America, the first Avenger. The last time we got something from EXFX, it was the lanyard from the Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV series. So let's see what we get here. So opening up the side. Oh, from the back, there are two pins. I see other stuff in here this this looks like there's a separate box in here and you can ah I see well let's break open the seal and see what we're actually looking at then before I show you the actual product. So it's the Certificate of Authenticity, the window box, Hydra. So then if you look, it's, ooh, holy shit. So it takes up two pin spaces, which is how gigantic this is. This is the Hydra symbol. It's like a nice, authentic pin. You can learn your Hydra uniform. This is cool. And then there's the red skull in the background. Wow, this is really great. Like high quality. So put this here, you can display it like this. If you broke open the seat, you can just display it like this. And you wouldn't even see the red skull, but this is really nice. Wow. Another EFX. Awesome. And here's the Villains 2 crate, which has Joker. If I open up the front cover, laughing. It's very, nothing else besides the Joker. The new loot crate symbol. And there's Carnage. And so, this city deserves a better class of criminal. And I'm gonna give it to them. From the 2008 Dark Knight movie, said by the Joker. Very nice. Here's photos from last year's Okay, this is taking out a con. Cool. And they've escaped. The man con the manhunt is on at lootcrate.com capture. So that's cool. It's a villains thing. You can go to this address to see what it is. Villainous voices. Uh <laughs> stealing 40k, so that's like Suther. And so you match each villain to a quote. And it's A through I. It's Mass Effects, the N7 Limited Edition crate, presented by the Creating Bioware, Bioware, similar to the um, Fallout 4 crate that are gonna come out soon. Make Evil Corp Limited, Hench People Wanted, the Geek Loot Cast. And this is this month's mega crate. There's TV, a hoodie. Headphones, a Voldemort statue, orange lantern. There's a mini mini your crate too. And here's the new thing: the level up monthly mystery apparel, where you can add stuff into your crate. So the first one is a long, stylish premium shirt, lounger, and other type of awesome apparel for about 15 bucks. And this is two different pairs of high-end themed socks for 10 bucks and then two accessories one or two chic, geek chic fashion accessory perfect for lady leaders 
for 15 bucks. Then Batman villains in real life. So there's the Batman version which is in comics and a real life analog to him. This is cool. I saw a lot of famous. And here's the El Polo Hermanos from uh, Breaking Bad. The Joker. And then Ven oh, you can get Venom or Carnage. With that being said, I kind of like Carnage more because Venom's. Although both of them are stylized, Venom's looks more like a kiss mug. And there's the Hydra pin, the Loot Crate pin. But honestly, it's kind of lacking, I would guess. I would say that it's definitely lacking a bit. But, um. I think they were just trying out the whole. like bringing other options into it so I think that might be why there's not quite so much stuff this month because honestly it's only about four or five good ones so I hope that even though they're doing the level up thing they don't skimp out on products like just to accommodate it I hope they can find a way so they can have like the regular amount of like stuff they have and but also be able to make room for like the level up stuff so I hope they can find a way to sort that out but other I mean, maybe put this out first before I put this in. But other than that, these is pretty. These things were really, really good premium stuff for the crate. So, uh, this is Mofo See That. And this was a look at the Loot Crate for August uh, 2015, the Villains 2 Crate. Uh, join me next time when I review next month's crate and the upcoming um, crate for Marvel Collector's Core, which theme is Secret Wars, so stay tuned for that and other reviews in the future. See you later.